I don't believe people are paying attention to the Olympics. Uh, so we went on the street and we asked pedestrians how they've been enjoying them so far, even though they haven't started yet, in tonight's Winter Games edition of Lie Witness News. Talking about the Olympics, you've been seeing some of that? Yes, yes. What have you seen so far? Um... Anything. Sure. We're talking to people about the Olympics. You've been enjoying them? Yes. What do you like about them so far? Uh, so far, uh, I enjoyed the opening ceremonies. For people who might not have seen the opening ceremonies, describe them for us a little bit. Um, they had celebrities there, like Pat Sajak, Machine Gun Kelly, uh, lots of grandeur, lots of uh, production value. I'm sure you saw Elon Musk debuted his new Tesla snowboard, and Anna won the gold medal in speedboarding. What did you think when you saw that? I thought it was just life-changing for the innovation world. Um, really, he's setting the tone for all of the new snow snowboard developers. Um, I really think everyone should look up to him and go in his directions. And what about when that one snowboarder ran out of juice halfway down the half pipe and had to recharge? Yeah, I think he should have came prepared and really charged his uh, snowboard before showing up to the tournament. That's his fault. We're talking about the Olympics. Don, you been watching? Yeah. How funny was it when that Swedish skier got her tongue stuck to the chairlift? Man, it was it was priceless, like the Christmas story, man. And then she couldn't get off the lift, and her tongue was stuck oh, to man. the chairlift. I'm stuck. Call the fire there. department. Man, <laughs> it was priceless. People are trying to figure out why the ice was so thin and why the figure skaters went through the ice when it cracked. Why do you think that was? Um, definitely global warming is a huge factor in that. What did you think when you saw that? Um, I was surprised. Everybody's enjoying the Olympics. What three teams are you rooting for? I'm going for U.S., Mexico, and Brazil. And give me three teams you're rooting against. Uh, Ireland, Tokyo, and Argentina. <laughs> I'm going to list some of the new winter Olympic sports, and you tell me whether you think they're hot or not, OK? Yes, OK. How about ice diving? Have you been enjoying that? Uh, no, not. That's not? What about ice fishing? Hot, I like That's that. That's hot, you like not too boring for you? Not too boring, yes. Okay, what about snowballing, when the team tries to outrun that giant oh, snowball? Oh, I, I like that one. That's hot. That's hot, yeah. What about the equestrian events, the horse ice skating? Have you been enjoying that? Uh, no, that's a nut for me, because I'm thinking about the horses, because it could happen there would be a lot of accident, and they can. I know for sure they can balance themselves in you the ice. You don't like seeing the horses on the ice no, skates? No, no, no. We're talking about the Olympics. You've been enjoying it? Yeah. You saw that snowboard jump over the Great Wall? Describe that for people who might not have seen it. Evil Knievel 2022. I mean, it was just a, it was a wild, you know, something that nobody should attempt, but he broke history while doing it. You know, it was incre incredibly dangerous. You know, just once he's in the air, you know, you don't see anything past that. Were you surprised that Sean White shot a TikTok of himself when he made that jump? I couldn't believe he did it. I didn't think he actually did it. I thought it was just a joke at first. You know, I thought it was a scripted joke when I saw the videos, but now it was legitimate. It was, it was crazy. You saw it on TikTok? Yeah. Do me a favor. Show me that tattoo. What does that say? It says, nobody likes a liar. Are you kidding? I love him. Thanks for watching. Remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.